Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. The hallway is nearly finished now, so now I can get back to the business of looking for things about MGTOW to do a video about. As expected with the coronavirus quarantine period still affecting the whole of the world, there's not really much happening as everything is locked down, including Hollywood. Even the new Jane Bond film has been put back to April. And as for Greenland, God knows when that's ever going to be released. But anyway, there's not really much to see on the internet concerning how MGTOW is affecting the world economy, and especially the Western world economy, like in America. But I did find this. It's the independent man, men being with men without apologising for it. It's a independent forum concerning MGTOW and... This article is the first one, and it, it's quite interesting as it seems that it's not only me that's looking at how MGTOW is affecting the real world economy, but everybody else is doing it as well. You'll notice the date on the top is 2019. Well, most of the things I've found is 2019. There's hardly anything for 2020, which given the state of the world's economy was the coronavirus and lockdowns everywhere, that's understandable. But just one or two little things in this. Almost all the businesses' fails can be linked to less dating and less going out activities. Years ago, even food chains with quality problems would have survived because of the huge demand generated by blue pill cooks taking their significant others, in other words, guys taking their girlfriends out to dinners. Now the market is dwindling and only the strongest will survive. Well, that's debatable. The hardly any restaurants is opening and with social distancing, which is a fancy word for social control, in place, I don't think many of them will survive as well. It says some of the... It's not just Amazon that's causing the problems. Now this is deals with MGTOW. Same with expensive high-end cars. MGTOW men no longer need to impress women. Of course, we're going our own way. We are fine with a 20-year-old car. My car is about 10 years old this year, and it does me. It primary job is to take me to work and take me home, and I could keep it for another 10 years if I wanted. I don't need a new car. It's the same with all the other things. Guys don't need much of stuff to be happy. It's women that need lots of stuff to be happy because women want to impress other women. It goes down. If stores like Home Depot need downsizing, well, less Mac mansions bought for demanding an entitled wife. And less houses needed for female ordered total makeover. I did not a video about that a while ago. And it shows that the houses are not really in demand for single guys. All right, some single guys, like a poster in the comment section, said that they had a three-bedroom house and they're flipping it. That's what they've done for several years. Well done to him. But guys don't need a big house. I live in a little two-bedroom flat that I lived here with mum and dad, but I'm in the process of redecorating it the way I want it to be. And that's all right for me. I don't need a big house or anything. So that's that out the way. And this other guy says, where I live, a lot of shopping centers are now only half full of stores. The first stores to go are the clothing for teenage girls. Makeup stores, essentially everything that is non-essential. Good riddance. And this video is great. The Burger King was one was funny. I once read a book written by a writer for the Alcesa TV. Don't know about that, but... Uh, here's another bit for about MGTOW. Wedding dress cake stores. I've mentioned that wedding dress manufacturers are going out of business. That also could lead to wedding cake people going out of business and people that arrange weddings. Jewelry stores, the jewelry stores for engagement rings have hit a cliff edge. And car lots, not many cars are being sold. Naturally, 
shopping malls in America are closing down like mad. Food chains, that could be restaurants and that. Everything seems to be aimed, that is aimed at women, is going belly up. We all know, admitting of course, that men have had enough of this. And we've had it up to here with their bombing disguise of good intentions. Now that's a called the independent a forum called the independent man also MGTOW is on Quora a lot of things this one was interesting why is MGTOW going in popularity there's 95 answers to it but if you go straight to the bottom you see lots more questions about MGTOW it seems MGTOW, as I said in the title, is no longer a five-word s- symbol and term. MGTOW is becoming more entrenched in the public mindset, hence all these questions about it. And the coronavirus as causing mass unemployment, that will also in an indirect way affect men, as in Guy loses his job. Guy lives with girlfriend or wife. Guy doesn't have an income coming in. Girlfriend gets fed up because Guy has got no money coming in and no resources. So girlfriend starts looking around for another guy with money and resources. Girlfriend leaves Guy. Guy finds his on his, himself on his own. Guy discovers MGTOW. Things get better. Guy decides... That MGTOW is the way to go because he's happy living on, on his own. But anyway, this is just a quick video. As I said, there's not much to look around. I'll try and find some other things for next week. But apart from that, this is it for this one. So you know the routine, people. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe. It's completely up to you. Until the next one, that's it. Bye-bye.